talk about the little things maybe it cost you a couple off sides. If you don't have that, maybe you win this game. Yeah, it's you know this it's a frustrating loss. I mean, Washington State, we, we knew we're going to be super athletic, and uh, you know they're a team that typically um, you know outshoots their opponents by by quite a large margin. They usually don't have a very high shooting percentage. Today they were shooting 750, and uh, you know a lot of that were due to our mistakes. You know we give them, you know referee gives them a penalty kick. Uh, you know we give them a couple a couple golden opportunities of. Uh, you know, a flub up in, in the first half that gives them a free breakaway and a goal. Uh, second half where we, we get two players looking at each other and a girl steps in between and, and scores a, a free goal to, uh, to win the game. Meanwhile, you know, we have twice as many chances and, and we, we miss chances. We hit, we hit the post, we missed over the top, we missed left, we missed right. And, uh, and that's frustrating because I know our kids have worked hard. They created all those chances. They created a lot of opportunities. They did well to, you know, to, to kind of get the tempo of the game in our favor. And, uh, you know, it's just those little, those little things that we've got to work out. It's the, you know, it's the first weekend of the season. And, and we play good teams like this, like Washington State, who are one of the favorites to win the Pac-12 because these are the things that we need to learn because these are the teams that we want to play when postseason time comes around in November and December, and we don't want to pay the price that ends the season. So these are the ones that we have to clean up. And when we play Baylor next next uh, Saturday, from now till then, can we uh, can we clean these things up and, and make it make it look that much better? About 30 fouls combined in this game. How do you think their athleticism combined with their aggression forced this turnout? Uh, that's the referee's whistle. Pure and simple. That's so good for the referee that he was able to have that much oxygen on a on such a such a hot day. So that's that's a hard thing to do. So the referee did a, did a great job on being able to blow the whistle that many times. That's great. How's the team's morale after this? Well, they're they're frustrated. It's a it's a frustrating result. You know, we the the loss against a, you know arguably the best team in the country on Thursday with Florida State. I mean, we were right in that game too. You know, could we have won that game? Yeah, maybe. Um, but we, we give away a goal with four minutes to go. Today we give away a goal with, uh, you know, in the last 10 minutes. It's both, both instances really, really tough situations and different types of games. Uh, one game that, you know, we were looking to play on the counter, this game that we were in control and we give up, we give up a goal on the counter. So it's, uh, you know, it's soccer. Sometimes you don't, you know, you, you, the other team is going to not get as many chances and, and they're going to stick them. And that's exactly what a, a really talented Washington State did tonight. Well, we'll we'll go. School starts tomorrow, um, so the players will get into their routine of uh, of school, of going to classes. We'll start our routine of uh, regular practice sessions and our regular afternoon times, and you know we'll have you know four training sessions this week, and uh, we'll work on the little things. And little things are the big things: the of being able to you know keep the ball under pressure, being able to move the ball quickly, and moving the ball just you know like basketball. The way we move the ball moves the defense, and moving the defense creates the spaces and creates the time in front of goal that we need to, to be able to finish our chances. And that's what we're going to have to do. And then defensively is keeping our focus and knowing where people are, especially on the backside. Is any of it possibly youth? Gee, because you're coming off a tough loss, but you get you score, but then you just give them that goal you talked about instead of building them. Well, in, in a lot of the a lot of them, the the first goal came right after a substitution. Player comes in. Her first pass is a back pass back towards our goalkeeper. It hits one of our defenders in the foot and it goes in. So it's a first, the first pass. Um, the other one was off of, a, off of a, an injury. So it's a restart off of a throw in and bang, bang. We're, I think we're asleep still, which is completely our fault. And they're, they're awake and they score off of it. And so those are, uh, those are, those are tough but you don't get timeouts to uh, go and shake everybody to, to make sure they're awake. And again, it's 108 degrees when this game starts. So it's, you know, there's, there's some tough conditions tonight. And, and again, hats off to uh, Washington State because they really handled it well.